who was your that because you just reeled off a whole list of names there, all <laughs> amazing. But if you had to pick one that was like a bit of an inspiration to you growing up, best, best. That's my opinion. That is like, like even when I'm seeing that, I'm still in awe of him. I'm like, do you know him well? Yeah, yeah. I like, I can't even talk. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> What was it like being at the club when when there was l- the likes of Vieira, Lundberg, Omri? Like as it, when you're in the academy, yeah. do you do you see them guys? Do you oh, mix yeah, them? It, you know it. It was much very strict, very very strict. Obviously, you have the first team side this side. They got to let the academy on this side, mm-hmm. and we were not allowed to go across to the first team. Whereas now, like you hear, the boys can just go across and whatever. Mm-hmm. And they were very strict. Um, you had Pat Rice, who was still. The academy, uh, no, the Paris was still assistant manager there. Yeah. And Steve Bold used to be my coach. So we really worked very hard. Very, very, very hard. Mm-hmm. And for you to go and train with the first team is like Christmas Day. I bet. For you to go and say, and this is when France just won the World Cup. They won the won the Europe. And you've got people like Dennis Bergkamp. You've got Martin Keown. You've got Freddie Jungberg. You've got Pires. You know, you've got... A lot of top top players was were. Ash- Ashley Cole there. At the time? Ashley was yeah. there, you know, incredible, incredible. Every single time you went to train with them, you come out as a different player. I come bet. out as a different player because the intensity of it, and just how hard each of those guys wanted to be in in that position, mm. you know. And I said it's not the same anymore, but the foundation that Mr. Wenger laid in that club, it's incredible. It's incredible. Who was your that? Because you just reeled off a whole list of names there, all <laughs> amazing. But if you had to pick one that was like a bit of an inspiration to you growing up, Patrick Vieira, best, best. I best saw footballer. you were compared to him, weren't best you? Best footballer. So that's my opinion. That is like, like even when I'm seeing that, I'm still in awe of him. I'm like, do you know him? Do you know him well? Yeah, yeah. I, like, I can't even talk. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing though, and that shows how humble you are because you're 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 a pro baller for for many years, and and you're you're not seeing him, even though he's a he's a, a same. Do you know what I mean? He's on yeah. the same level, but you're still putting him up there, like yeah. But that, there's there's certain footballer when you see them, you're like yeah, wow, you're good. Yeah, like, you're very very good. You know, and he was one of those guys where in training, he trained the same way he played. Yeah, and when you got to play with him, you're like, "Oh my God, he's he's good, good, a good footballer." What What was it that made him stand out from the rest? What traits did he have? It that... just is his intensity of how he trained. Yeah, like, you know, he pulling people about, making mm. sure, hey, come in there properly. Especially as as a young player, you because as a young player, you get you get a bit complacent with if you train twice with the first team, you feel like, "Oh, I'm in there now." Right. Whereas, you train once, twice, and it's, it's still expected to train like that every single time you come across. And you start to monitor how you play with your own teammate, and you start asking the coach, "How's he getting on with stuff?" Yeah, you know, just to keep, just to keep on, on, on you know, on your, on your toes. Because I said, he's easily like you train with the first team. When you go play with your own mate, you feel like you're the big guy now. So because, but now he's like, no, no, no. You train, you go out there, you apply the same attitude you play with us. You play over there. Love but that. But he's top, top man, top guy. Seriously, is he? What as, oh, as a person? He's, as a person, well, yeah, top guy, top you, guy. You know when when we think back to like the classic Premier League years, like we're yeah. a similar age. I'm 28, yeah. you're 33, uh, a little bit older, but well, I went older against <laughs> you. <laughs> but when we think back to like the sort of golden Premier League era, probably when around about when you were playing yeah. in that, and there was some classic players like this was before your time, I think. But you remember like. Your players like Shefki Kuchi. Do you yeah, remember him? Yeah, and he, yeah. and they had all their little traits. So like Kuchi would do that dive and celebration. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. And I think Oberfemi Martins would do the thing. Yeah. And uh Grealish now he's got the small socks. Everyone's got yeah, these little yeah, things. Yeah. When you think of Vieira, not playing, but yeah. the way he looked, is there one thing that reminds you of him? He used to have a a Vix. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, do you remember that? No. Do you oh remember my that? word. How do you not remember that? That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, Vix on his chest all the time. All the time. Vic's vapor rub. Oh, yeah. 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 And and you would see You can it, see it like right the pack. Yeah. 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 He must have lathered that on strong. <laughs> <laughs> what for? Look, he can't fit uh, feet. I, I don't know the reason behind it, but when he did it, I started doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I will play like I'll him. Put it in there and I'll put it in there. I was like, okay, well, well if he's doing it, he's working, so we must as well do it. Why not? <laughs> fee, Google Patrick Vieira and then put um 
uh, vapor, uh, Vix rub or something like that. Because that, that is, yes. You see that? Yeah. Oh, wait, look, hey, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Do you not remember that, Stevie? No. Wow. You know, I, I was fortunate enough that when he went to Ju- Juventus, mm. he, second game, he sent me his shirt and signed it as well. Did he? I still got it. Did it have Vix all over it? <laughs> no, I didn't have it. <laughs> smells lovely. That. Well, it was clean, <laughs> yeah, but it's signed as well. Wow, kept there to this day. That's yeah. class. Yeah. I, I, I know I said it a minute ago, but I love how you're in awe of it as well. Oh. Like you, you're not, you're not just like, like it, Jack. It, it's hard. You know, like you can't pretend. Yeah, like you can't pretend to this guy. Like I, I remember, oh, um, when my United played Arsenal at Highbury mm-hmm. in the tunnel. Yeah, right? yeah. So I was right at the back of the tunnel. So I saw when it was all kicking off. Walking there, he targeted Gary Neville, and Gary told Keen, and Keen just at it. Like the moment Keen knew it, they were cut. So when Rory can talk about it on TV, I was right in the corner of Highbury and in the tunnel. I was just watching there like a young boy because we, we couldn't, <laughs> we we can't get into the tunnel unless they go out first. So yeah. you, they, when they go out, you go back in, go straight in your seat. Right. So you're like there, you're like, oh my god, they literally like. About to fight here now. Are they, what, are they just shouting Oh, at it was everything. But everything. W- before the game? Yeah, everything. 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 Seriously, everything. I, lo- I love hearing oh, that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's incredible. But nowadays, you never get that. Is football worse now? Because uh, of stuff like that? Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's not the same anymore. It's just, oh, that breaks my heart It's not the that. same anymore. Because everybody's so pally pally now. Yeah. yeah, you find a lot of players at different clubs are like best friends still now. Like they? Mason Mount, and Declan Rice. There's nothing wrong with yeah. that. They're be- they've been best friends uh, since they were younger. I, I love people like Troy Deeney go head to head with Van Dijk just mm. to go at it. Mm. You need in football, you need your pantomime villains, yeah. don't you? That's just a couple of old brute one players. Or two guys like Roy Keane being one of them. Like, I don't like you. I, mm. I respect you, but I don't like you. Yeah. Do you think we see that at all anymore in the no, Premier League? No, no. No, not ever a Suarez. It, it, was one it, of the it's last. more of, of managers, yeah, who have a dig at each other now and again. But but, but even that's died out a bit now, isn't it? Yeah. Like you had your Wenger, Fergies, yeah. and stuff like that. But it's not, yeah, it's not really the well, same. Klopp and Ollie at the moment don't seem to get on, do they? Do they not? Nah. They're, they're constantly making digs oh, about each always. other. Are always. they? Press conference is uh, it's like a show for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I, I knew, I knew that obviously they don't get on. One's a manager of Man United, one's a manager of Liverpool. <laughs> but I didn't know it was that. Yeah. Vendetta against. Yeah, they make digs about each other that don't each even seem relevant yeah. half the time. But it's like, oh, this is, we better talk about them. Mm. Stupid question then. Um, but Vieira every single day over Kane for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No doubt about it. Yeah. No doubt. Tell us about Omri. What's he like? Oh, Terry's a top man. He's yeah. Top. Listen. It all, yeah. It, what's funny about him is that, is that, yeah, he's such a good of a portrait of characters. So he lo- he look at you and next minute, no, he can talk how you talk. How are you picking up my voice? That that is very, he's very good at like what in terms of accent? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, what impression? Yeah, 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 he's very good at doing that. Very good, very very good. Is seriously, it? yeah, yeah, top man, top man. Seriously, it, I'll tell you this story. Yeah, when I had my accident, uh, the night before that we played Tottenham, many we messaged each other on Blackberries. Mm. What you you and Omri? Yeah, yeah. And he moved to New York at the time, though. So obviously, I had my I had my accident. After he heard about my accident. He flew, came in in the back door of the hospital when the paparazzi was in front. Spent about ten minutes with, with me. I was fast asleep. I say hello, hi. Then I thought about. They spoke to my dad, and came out. Went back the back door as well. Even wow. nobody knows he was there. That's that's that's. Oh, listen, I uh, top man. That's top a class guy. act. Dad. Oh, seriously. All seriously. the way from New York. Top guy. Wow. What a guy. Top wow. guy. My listeners are very excited at this question. <laughs> Did you play in the academy with somebody called Jeremy Lynch? Jeremy, the, the YouTuber? Yeah. 